All right, so recently I did that video entitled Show Me Your Success, Not Your Money, and I talked about why I don't have a Patreon, why I don't have a Kickstarter, and why on all these videos I'm not going, please like and subscribe, please donate, please contribute money so that we can have a better setup to do these videos. I want to see what you're actually doing with this stuff. So I'm not interested in you donating to me. I want to see what you're doing with your own life. I want you to invest in yourself. And if you absolutely, positively demand to give money to somebody else, I gave you some examples of where to donate to, like the Open Broadcaster Studio Project. Perhaps they can actually fix this damn bug where it, the um, X264 encodes in all green when you're using I444 or where when you're using their built-in encoder, it doesn't uh, it doesn't let you output wave to wave and stuff like that. Or to the Huntington's Disease Research charity. There are tons of charities you can give to all this type of stuff other than me that you should be giving money to. I don't want your money. I don't need your money. And in that video, I said, show me your success. Show me what it is you're doing. So I thought I would actually read some of the letters that I got after I uh, did that video. So this one comes from somebody on YouTube. Hey, Lewis, long post incoming. Since you've taken the time to make this video, I thought I should take the time to share in on my success. I started watching your channel maybe two years ago. I work as a cell phone laptop repair technician, and at the time, I was only cleaning water-damaged stuff with a toothbrush and alcohol. Been there. Seeing your videos on water damage repair really got me interested into learning this stuff, but at the time, I wasn't making enough money to get some tools. Been there. I had a friend's MacBook Pro board that I had got everything to work minus the backlight, and nothing I did would get it to work. Fast forward a year and I am now working at a new repair company. When I got to this new company, I saw that they had some soldering tools like a Chinese soldering station, exactly like the Baku that you reviewed, well, reviewed, under another name. A magnifying glass, some solder flux, and a tip cleaner. They also had a huge amount of donor boards for all iPhone models. It looked like someone used to work there and attempted solder, attempted to solder but failed at everything he did because every board there had traces destroyed or pads pulled. You know. I know. Anyway, one day my boss fucked up an iPhone 5 and we couldn't get any image on the screen. Turns out he knocked off a filter on the board. Many employees here have done that. Turns out he knocked the filter off the board. I spent maybe six hours working with the magnifying glass trying to line up the filter and get the solder to melt on the board without blowing it away. Been there, but didn't have the magnifying glass. I'm confident I lost at least 10 filters that day. In the end, it finally stayed in place. Power on the phone and there's an image. I felt so happy that day and told everyone what I did. From there on, it was a mission to learn more. You see, these are the people who are successful. When you do something and, and you actually have that feeling of accomplishment and success and happiness and pride on what you do, that, those are the people who are successful, not the people that are like, okay, it works. Now I can charge for it. These are the people who are going to be successful. But to continue... I started taking donor boards off the shelf to practice. Desolder this, move that there, anything I could do to learn more. Some things took me forever, and I started to wonder if maybe I just wasn't cutting out, cut out for this. Surprising, considering I believe there is nothing I can't do without enough practice. I went home and did hours of research on everything about soldering. Come to find out, the problem was that the old technician that used to work there damaged the only conical tip we had, and also that conical tips have to have been the worst choice for just about any job. So a lot of people will insult a video that I did where I said, an account of human suffering, watch me try to solder an LCD connector with a $10 soldering, a knockoff soldering iron. And they'll say, you know, that sucked. This is a terrible job. And the, I wanted to make two points with that video. A, the point that a professional will find out how to get the job done with a shitty tool. But B, that even if you are a professional when you're using a shitty tool, it's a nightmare. Because if, if, I, if I do all these jobs with my, you know, $100 iron and the $50 tip and the $250 station and the $1,800 hot air station, you're never going to see any struggle. So you're just kind of going to assume that it's you that's the problem. When in reality, it may be that the tools that you're using are driving you crazy. So if I put up these videos where you can see how much I struggle because I don't edit out the flaws when I have to use a crappy tool because my, you know, my good iron died and all I had was the knockoff and the customer wanted it back tomorrow. If I put up these videos, the whole idea is that you will see uh, me failing and that that will encourage you because you have failed to go, hey, 
this guy who makes good money doing this failed here too. So maybe, just maybe, I'm not a failure because I'm making the same mistake with the same tool. I ordered some new original Hacko tips around the same time my managers realized what I was getting into and sent me some cheap OLED microscope. Magnification was way too close and I had about a three inch working distance. Been there, still there, but it made my job so much better. Shortly after I found your My Tools and Why I Bought Them video and hearing you basically say it's not you, it's the Chinese piece of shit you're using, motivated me enough to drop a couple hundred on an Amscope microscope, Fluke multimeter, and a bunch of other stuff. I use MG Flux, though. When I run out, I'll probably get some Amtech off you. I went through a period of a month or two where every day I came home from work, I would watch at least two to four hours of your videos and then do in-depth research online to figure out basics of electricity and how circuits work. Anybody can probably change a fuse, but watching you made me realize how important it is to learn how these things work, because without that, you can't properly diagnose an issue. This, this is, this is what this channel is for. This channel is here to encourage you to do your own independent research to figure out how things work so that you can do this stuff on your own. It's to give you the confidence to realize that you don't have to be an engineer. This means that I'm doing my job, which is really cool. This post is getting longer than I thought it would, so let me wrap it up, because I hope you read it. Fast forward again a few months later, and now I have almost every professional tool I need with the exception of upgrading my Chinese station. The corporate company I work for no longer outsources their board repairs, and they pretty much send them all to me. We are having a problem with the cheapo iPhone 6 LCD shorting out the backlight circuits and blowing the filters, and it's now become a widespread nightmare in our company. Problem is, I'm not getting paid any extra for the work I do, so I took all my tools home to do my own thing, and they I can outsource those thousands of dollars in repairs rather than paying me an appropriate wage. Today, he tried to offer me a $2 raise above my almost minimum wage, along with a $5 commission per board repair. <laughs> Yeah, did any of you guys watch Grade A Under A's videos? You know when Grade A, you, you should. Grade A Under A is an amazing channel on YouTube. You know when he does that thing where he's like, fuck you, mate. But he has like, what he, you can hear that he's kind of roll, he's uh, preparing, he's like cranking up his, and the fuck you, mate, before he does the really big double middle finger, like, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> two, like, two dollar raise and five dollar commission per board repair. Well, oh boy. Yeah, wow. Definitely give a big middle finger there. I would have laughed in their face if my business was already set up, considering I make $6 commission on replacing an iPad glass in the same amount of time. I ended up telling them to just send their dead stuff to Jessa. Yep, that's exactly what you got to do. You got to take all of your nightmare customers, all of your terrible customers, and send them straight to Jessa. Good stuff. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be like one of those guys you talked about ruining the market doing micro soldering for five bucks. I have dignity. I could shed a tear. Others like myself trying to get in the field have learned a lot from you and Jessa and I appreciate it. I'm trying to get my foot in the market before everyone discovers these videos and drive down the prices on stuff. Yeah, you're a little late for that. <laughs> I get so much stuff in the mail from the 70 and $80 eBay guys. It's ridiculous. And they're like, why are you charging? It's like, dude, it's not my fault that you're charging your customer $70. <laughs> anyway, I've learned so much from you, not just soldering and how circuits work. Your salesmanship videos as well as your philosophy has inspired me so much, and I hope to use these skills I learned from you and become successful like you in the future. I would love to meet you in the future and attend one of your tutoring sessions or even work with you if the opportunity came up. Sorry for the long post. I figured I'd write a detailed success story, or at least most of it, and soon to be success, I hope. There's, there's no, I hope there, you will be successful with this attitude. Excuse the spelling mistakes. Do I get to say it's not my fault because it's late too? Oh. Also, I posted that before playing the video. I'm that guy making 10 bucks an hour, 10.50 actually, slaving my ass off at work until 2 a.m. some nights for a cheapo 60 store corporate company sending me all their board repairs, about to start my own business and have them outsourced to me at least triple if not 5x what they pay me now. Five times. Good stuff. And yeah, like this is, th this is why I spent money on a camera and a microscope and all of this crap and took thousands of hours out of my life to record this shit before I was getting a dime from YouTube. Like, this makes it worth it. This is what this channel is about. This is what I find cool. And again, 
accomplishing this for other people or helping other people in this way is something I can do from the shitty little office I'm in that has an extension cord being routed above an acoustic panel that I screwed into the wall without using any of those little, uh, I so bad at construction. I don't even know what it is when you're like, when you're putting stuff into whatever this material is, which I really should know what it is at 27 years old. You're not supposed to put a screw in it. You're supposed to have that little white or clear thingy. Then then you put the screw into, I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot when it comes to construction. But yeah, like, you can totally do this out of this office. There's absolutely no reason for me to ask online for money for a new office so that I can do this content in a cooler place. Again, because I've been getting a lot of people recently saying that you, you know, if you're going to get more subscribers, you can't keep doing videos out of this little dump that you do now. You need to get somebody who's a professional to record them. You need to redo your office so it looks quote unquote professional. And, you know, why? Give me one good reason why, because it's clear that these people are learning something and applying it so that they can make more money, make more devices work again, and give their employers a big fuck you without me changing my office around. So I really have no plans of getting, I have zero plans at this time of, do, of getting myself a new office. This makes everything worth it. It really does. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for it. The, the, this is the target audience for my content. You know, again, when I get these, when I get these uh, comments in the in the messages section that are like, "This video is too long. You need to edit it to make it this much shorter, so that I don't have to, so that I can just see that the whether or not the repair worked without fast forwarding again." Like the big grade A under A middle finger. Fuck you, man. <laughs> That's all I, I I I try to apply that to almost everything now. And now next one. Hi, Lewis. This is just a small gift from myself to say thank you for all the videos that I watch on your YouTube channel. I'm an IT business owner, too, based over in the UK, so your videos are a real help. I haven't seen Sharky in a while, so I figured he could do with a new friend. So once again, many thanks for your videos. Please keep up the good work. Matt from XL Pro PC. And I got a... Look, it's a sheep. Check it out. It even looks like the sheep that's the logo on my website. And here we do have, yeah, I haven't seen Sharky in a while because I haven't done any BGA rework in a while. Because as I've said, BGA rework is a rabbit hole to hell in many of these videos. Look, Sharky. Sharky? This is my oven mint. And now I have, I guess, Sheepy. This is pretty cool. Even has that new, new oven mitt smell. Pretty cool. Thank you. This is all pretty cool, so thank you very much. And keep the stories coming. I want to hear what you're doing. I want to see what you're doing. Upload videos to YouTube of what you've been doing. Up even if it's just some shit in Windows Movie Maker where you're just taking pictures of the crap that you've worked on or your workspace or what you used to do versus what you do now. Put that on YouTube. Upload it. Be happy about it. Be proud of it. And show me because I do actually enjoy reading this stuff and I do enjoy seeing this stuff. And thank you very much. And uh, have a nice day.